Mr. Jonas, it's great to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Nick Jonas, and I'd like to thank you for having me here today. I'd like to share my story of living with type 1 diabetes and talk about the need to fund research to find a cure. First, I'd like to thank you, Senator Collins, Senator Lieberman, and all the members of the committee, but specifically, Senator Collins, for being such a champion for all of us with diabetes. Everyone here today for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation's Children's Congress is grateful for your leadership on the Senate Diabetes Caucus and your commitment to people with type 1 diabetes. We're lucky to have you pushing policies that will bring us closer to a cure. Thank you. In one way or another, I spent most of my life performing. I've been writing songs since I can remember, and I love sharing my passion for music. As a little kid, I sang in choir at my dad's church and then performed on Broadway. As the Jonas Brothers, my brothers Joe, Kevin, and I have written songs and made albums and toured the country, playing our music for people all over America. It was during a concert tour in 2005 that I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. My brothers were the first to notice that I had lost a significant amount of weight, 15 pounds in two weeks. I was thirsty all the time and I had a bad attitude which is unlike me. <laughs> it would have been easy to, to blame my symptoms on a hectic schedule, but my family knew I had to get to a doctor. The normal range of a blood sugar is anywhere between 70 to 120. When we got to the doctor's office, we learned that my blood sugar was over 790. The doctor said that I had type 1 diabetes, but I had no idea what that meant. First thing I did was ask her, am I going to die? She assured me that I wasn't going to die, but that I'd have to manage this disease for the rest of my life. We went right to the hospital that night where I spent three days, including a crash course on getting my blood sugar in range and learning all about diabetes. It has not been easy, but diabetes technology has really helped me to manage my diabetes. First, I took insulin shots, but it was just too hard on the road to give myself shots. I switched to a pump, which has been great. Since then, my A1C has come down, and I've been able to use the pump to better estimate how much insulin I need based on the carbs I eat. I'm also considering getting a continuous glucose monitor, but for now, I'll stick to pricking my finger. I do that up to 12 times a day, including right before I did this testimony. While technology has made it easier to manage my diabetes, technology is not a cure. Insulin is not a cure. Like everyone here today, I know the promise of a cure lies only in research, and I'm grateful to the Congress that renewed the Special Diabetes Program last year, which has helped research make important discoveries into what causes type 1 diabetes. The vital program has also funded research to test new drugs and therapies that could treat or cure patients with type 1 diabetes and may even lead to an artificial pancreas one day. I ask that each of you join in supporting the renewal of the Special Diabetes Program next year so the researchers can continue their work on a cure for diabetes. My life depends on it. All of our lives depend on it. After I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, I wrote a song called A Little Bit Longer about dealing with diabetes. I'd like to submit a copy of the full song to the record, but I'd like to read one of the verses which explains my outlook on living with diabetes. All this time goes by, still no reason why. A little bit longer and I'll be fine. Waiting on a cure, but none of them are sure. A little bit longer and I'll be fine. Diabetes has changed my life, but I know that I've benefited from the government's investments in diabetes research. With the help of Congress, I'll only have to wait a little bit longer for a cure. In the meantime, I've decided not to let diabetes slow me down. In just the last two months, my brothers and I have launched a new TV series, released our fourth album, and begun a world concert tour. My approach to managing my diabetes is to focus on simple wins, little things I can do each day to achieve my goals. Over time, these everyday victories can make a difference in your life. Just like every research advancement moves us on, 
along our path to find a cure. While on that path, I want to be a positive face for diabetes. I want to show kids with type 1 diabetes, like all the kids sitting with me today, that they can live their dreams while living with diabetes. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today, and thank you for your commitment to diabetes research. With your help, a little bit longer, and we'll all be fine. Thank you, Pat. Well said. Thank you so much, Nick. Your song really sums it up so well, and it's great and insightful.